my apologies for this video kind of uh, having a bunch of different disjointed parts, but it's kind of little pieces that I put together. I meant to originally upload the video like two days ago, and then uh, I just get busy, and then I think of something additional that I wanted to add to the video. And really quick introduction here, I just got an email from YouTube saying that I'm up to 500 subscribers, which... I never kind of had a goal of, but I really, really appreciate that I'm to that goal or to that milestone. And so I just wanted to say a really big thank you to all of you who have subscribed. I'm still kind of new to the whole YouTube thing. Hi, Brooklyn. Hi. But anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully it's uh, beneficial to you in some way. And uh, we'll catch you on the other side. Bye. I had a guy call me and ask a uh, pretty common question. So what is today, the 9th? November 9th, I think, or something like that. Uh, common question, and that is that, uh, mm -hmm. always have to have a bee hit you in the head, you know, just, just for the heck of it. Uh, he asked a pretty common question, which is common this time of the year and also early spring. And that is that my bees look like they were doing fine and then I went out to them and they're gone. And I was wondering what caused that. First thing, obviously, do they have feed? Uh, chances are pretty good. They, uh, I, I find that probably totally unscientific quotation of percentages, but I think at least nine times out of 10, uh, when you have a colony do that, it's due to viral loads that the bees had. And when we get into, uh, like, you know, we had our first cold snap here. I think it got down to like 27 degrees or something uh, last night. And then there's been a couple of colder days. You get that first cold snap, the viral issues that are compromising the colony health come to the forefront. And you can have a colony collapse, which uh, may... Uh, give you a feeling of deja vu colony collapse disorder uh you know same same thing just the, those viral issues from the mites always comes back to the mites reaches a critical mass and your colony can collapse obviously i mean if you open your hive and there's no feed uh mind you don't mind me while i argue with myself i was thinking about it is that you know especially like late august uh, september a colony can collapse and then other bees can rob out the honey so it can look like they starve when they didn't it was just uh, uh, uh they got robbed out after they collapsed but anyways just once again reiterating the importance of man hopefully you can see me the sun was my at my back there reiterating the importance of really making sure that you're on top of your mites and uh and that the treatments that you do to your bees today is going to have a significant impact on how they look four months up the road, five months up the road. Um, my suspicions are telling me that even though our bees look really good this year, my suspicions are telling me that we didn't knock down the mite loads as much as we could have in the spring. And so I think we saw we saw some colonies collapse actually in the late summer that didn't have to. But I think it was just that we uh, we weren't uh, we probably weren't on top of it as much. We were, we were playing around a 95 percent. I'm, I'm liking my percentages today. We were playing at around a 95 percent instead of 100 percent as far as treating our bees. And so, like I said, overall love the way they looked, but. Uh, it's definitely a reiteration for me that come next spring, we're going to make sure that we play 100% all out, uh, making sure that the bees uh, are as mite-free as possible uh, to set them up for success as their numbers build uh, leading into the uh, late spring and summer and uh, obviously the honey flow. So anyways, nothing really much to do here. Uh, we're just... Uh, I'm actually just uh, going to go out. It's in the low 40s right now. Got two more yards to uh, grab to bring to the home yard here. And then everybody will be home. And then uh, that's, that's kind of it. So anyways, hope you're well. Just want to touch base with you about that. If you're seeing your colony collapse suddenly right now, it's almost always due to uh, mites. 
and uh, just once again reiterates that's that's really where the battle is mites 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 and then of course nutrition so anyways i'll catch you again catch you later and even though it's probably about a month and a half later than what it should be finally got the last load of bees along with the last sting in the back of the head there last load of bees all done i had a couple of yards out the weather turned and so i just didn't have a chance to to get out and get the last colonies but got them all loaded now we're going to take them to the home yard i'm going to itch that sting and uh, we're going to call it a year and what a year it has been